There's a newer procedure that's called an Eshore procedure that is a permanent form of birth control. There are, there are no hormones, there's virtually no recovery time. Um, they leave uh, the procedure um, knowing that uh, they're going to have to use some form of birth control for the next three months um, they're, and their cycles are not affected. So for a woman that gets their periods monthly, that's going to continue. There will be no side effects. The technology is the same technology that's been used in cardiac stents um, and uh, it's been safe and it's been used for many years now without any complications. What it involves is going into the uterus with a, a small camera and it involves two small little implants that can be inserted into the fallopian tubes. And what that does is um, it allows uh, the fallopian tube to close from the inside. And it takes about a three month period for the fallopian tube to fully close. Uh, and what that involves is um, it's an outpatient procedure. It can be done in the office under just some light sedation or it can be done under anesthesia in an outpatient procedure um, surgery center. This is a procedure that's good for somebody that, again that is done having children and is permanent. It's not reversible. Um, so it's a great choice. Um, it involves virtually no hormones, no recovery time, very little anesthesia and um, after three months, they know that they're 100% covered um, and they don't have to worry about using birth control ever again. The follow-up to that is a procedure called an HSG procedure that we do at three months out. Basically, a little dye is placed inside the uterus to evaluate whether the fallopian tubes are fully closed or not. Once that confirmation test is done, then uh, we know that the fallopian tubes are are closed and there's no further procedures that need to be done after that and as far as uh, the woman or the couple are concerned um, the risk of uh, getting pregnant is is practically zero once we have a confirmation test it's a hundred percent there have been no reported pregnancies with any short device